a member subjected to direct stress in a single plane the normal stress acting on the plane x x is force by area suppose if you are asked to find the normal stress and tangential stress in a plane which is inclined at an angle theta to the direction of the minor uh, tensile stress sorry to the normal to the direction of the applied force then you will be having normal stress is equal to sigma cos by theta tangential stress is equal to sigma by 2 sin 2 theta all of you kindly make a note of this formula based on this formula you will be solving the sums once again i am repeating a member subjected to a direct uh, stress in one plane so the force is p the normal stress along the plane xx is given by load by area if you are considering any other plane apart from this xx the normal stress on the plane xy the normal stress on the plane xy is equal to sigma cos square theta and the tangential stress is equal to sigma by 2 sin 2 theta so here you will be having a tangential stress and here you will be having a normal stress the second case is a yeah, member subjected to like direct stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions you are having a body like this and the stresses are acting in two perpendicular directions in one direction it is sigma 1 and in another direction it is sigma 2 if you are considering any plane which is inclined at an angle uh, theta at an angle theta to the plane xx the normal stress along the plane xy will be sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into cos 2 theta so normal stress and tangential stress the tangential stress is given by sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into sin 2 theta the third case is a yeah, body uh, subjected to simple shear stress a body subjected to simple shear stress so for this the normal stress along an inclined plane is given by sigma n that is equal to shear stress into sin 2 theta and the tangential stress is equal to minus tau cos 2 theta the fourth case is a member subjected to a member subjected to like direct stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions and a simple shear stress so your body is like this here you are having sigma 1 
and this is sigma 2 also you are having uh, tensile stress in all the four surfaces sorry all uh, shear stress this is your shear stress the shear stress will be acting on all the four surfaces for this case the normal stress is equal to so this fourth case is a combination of case 2 and case 3 so i have to add the normal stress in the above equations so normal stress is given by sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into cos 2 theta plus tau sin 2 theta. So this is your normal stress. Normal stress along any inclined plane. And the tangential stress is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into sin 2 theta minus tau cos 2 theta. So with this equations, you are going to solve the sums. So problem one. You are having a body. At a point within your body, the stresses acting are given as 80 Newton, 80 Newton per mm square. and 40 Newton per mm square. So both are tensile. And Along with this uh, tensile stresses, you are having uh, the shear stress. The value of the shear stress is 60 Newton per mm square. So in this sum, you are asked to find what is the normal stress, what is the tangential stress and what is the resultant stress on an inclined plane uh, which is inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the axis of minor tensile stress. So you are having two stress value. This is 80. So this is your major tensile stress. And this 40 is your minor tensile stress. And this tau is the shear stress. Acting on the surfaces A, B, C, D. So now this is the case of a member uh, subjected to light uh, direct stresses in two mutual, mutually perpendicular directions and also a uh, simple shear stress is acting. So for this case, uh, the normal stress is given by sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 
plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 into cos 2 theta plus tau sin 2 theta. So you are asked to find what is the stress acting on the plane x, y. So this x, y plane is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the direction of minor tensile stress. So I have to find what is the normal stress and what is the tensile stress. So major tensile stress, it is sigma 1. Minor tensile stress, it is sigma 2. And tau is given. And theta value is 45 degree. Theta value is 45 degree. If all the values are substituted in the above equation, we will be getting the normal stress. So sigma 1 is 80, sigma 2 40, 80 minus 40 divided by 2 into cos 2 theta. Theta is 45 degree. So cos 2 theta is equal to 90 degree plus tau tau value is 60 newton per mm square. And this value is multiplied by sine 2 theta that is 90 degree. So when you solve this, we'll be getting normal stress is equal to 120 Newton per mm square. Similarly, the tangential stress has to be found out. The tangential stress is given by sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into sine 2 theta minus tau cos 2 theta. So sigma 1 is 80, sigma 2 is 40 divided by 2 into sine 2 theta. Theta is equal to 45 degrees. So sine 2 theta is equal to 90 degree minus 60 into cos 90 degree. So this on simplification uh, gives 20 Newton per mm square. Now the resultant stress has, has to be found out. We know that if this is the normal stress and this is the tangential stress, then this will be your resultant stress. So the resultant stress is given by the square root of the square of the normal stress and the square of the tangential stress. The normal stress, it came around 120 and the tangential stress is 20. So the resultant stress will be around uh, 121 Newton per mm square. Any doubts in this? If you have any doubts, you can ask. the second problem
I'm having a rectangular bar of cross sectional area ten thousand mm square. Uh, this is subjected to an axial load of twenty kilonewton. The plane xx is perpendicular to the direction of the applied force. Consider a plane which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the plane xx. So in this problem, you have to find what is the normal stress and the tangential stress acting on the plane x y so this uh, diagram we can take it as a member subjected to direct stress in a single plane so for such cases the normal stress is given by sigma cos square theta and the tangential stress is equal to sigma by 2 sine 2 theta so what is the sigma Sigma is equal to the load by area. The load value is 20,000 Newton, 20 kilo Newton. You can write it as 20,000 Newton. And the cross sectional area is 10,000 mm square. So the value of stress is 2 Newton per mm square. The normal stress is equal to 2 into cos square 30 degree two into 0 0.866 cos that is 0 0.866 I have to square this so the normal stress is 1.5 Newton per mm square. The tangential stress is given by the formula sigma by 2 into sine 2 theta. Sigma is 2 Newton per mm square. Sigma divided by 2. So 2 by 2 into sine 2 theta. 2 into Thirty degree. So this will become sine sixty degree. So sigma t is equal to two by two one into sine sixty. So the tangential stress is equal to zero point eight six six. Newton per mm square. So the third sum the 
the tensile stress the tensile stresses at a point across two mutually perpendicular planes are 120 uh, and 60 newton per mm square so this is 120 newton per mm square and this one is 60 newton per mm square you have to find the normal stress tangential stress and the resultant stress on your plane which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the axis of minus stress so this line x x in this direction the minor tensile stress acts so from this plane at an angle of 30 degree you have to find what is the normal stress what is the tensile uh, sorry tangential stress and what is the resultant stress uh, we know that for a body subjected to two mutually perpendicular stresses the normal stress is given by sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into cos 2 theta sigma 1 is 120 sigma 2 is 60 and theta is equal to 30 degree so substitute all these values 120 plus 60 divided by 2 plus 120 minus 60 divided by 2 into cos 2 into 30 degree will be having 60 degree. This will give you 105 Newton per mm square. Similarly, the tangential stress is given by sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 into sine 2 theta. We know the value of sigma 1, sigma 2 and theta. 120 minus 60 divided by 2 into sine 2 into 30 degree. So this will give you 26 Newton per mm square now the resultant stress is given by the square root of the summation of the square of normal stress and the square of the tangential stress the normal stress is 105 so square it and the tangential stress is 26. So finally, when you solve this, you'll be getting 108.1 Newton per mm square. 